put him in the dirt Say it again, man, and that's a reverse Never rehearse, jump in it first Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse uh, This is absurd, take the berserk Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve Don't got a nerve, man, I don't know okay, guys, here we go Let's talk about uh, audience sizes So, um, it's kind of my attention that a lot of people get confused with what audience size they need for their ad sets and I'm here to tell you that it's really not that important to worry about. Um, I've run audience sizes as small as like 50,000 and had really good success. I've run audience sizes um, like in the millions and, and had really good success so it's not not going to play as big of a role as you think. Um, I'd say that if the audience size is lower than a hundred thousand, then maybe try grouping the interests together, like very similar interests. Um, you know, it's obviously the smaller the audience size, the higher the CPM, the larger the audience size, the lower the CPM. I tend to lean towards big audiences in my advertising because I like low CPMs. It allows me to scale more aggressively um, while maintaining low ad cost. So you're with a winning product. A winning product is gonna sell well with a large audience size and a small audience size. So don't, don't focus so heavily on the size of the audience. Focus more of your attention on the product. I can't stop you know, preaching <laughs> that it's all about the product, guys. A winning product is gonna work almost no matter what. Um, so don't, yeah, don't, don't get caught up on audience sizes, even with lookalikes and stuff like that. Like we'll run, run lookalikes to audience sizes that are really small um, and, you know, up into the millions as well. So it's not that important. Uh, and at the end of the day, like, just test it, <laughs> right? Whenever I came into... Whenever, like when I was starting out and I had one of these questions, like I wonder if I should run a low audience size or a big audience size, I would just run both separately and just run a split test, right? And get the data myself. That's why I know the answers to a lot of these questions that you guys ask me is because I went through the, all of these, these questions myself and rather than like asking somebody for help, um, my first, you know, uh, inclination is to just test it and so that's what I did I was just I would just run split tests over and over and over again um, until I felt like I understood um, what I was doing so anyways audience sizes don't stress about it guys small big it doesn't matter um, all that much uh, I do tend to lean towards bigger audiences but uh, again it's it's really not gonna make that big of a difference so that's really all there is to audience sizes. Um, you really don't need to be any more. You really don't need to be that concerned about it. So, anyways, that's it. Yeah, yeah.